It's Wednesday, November 3rd. I'm Allie Hoxie. An investigation is underway on Detroit's west side after a body was found in the trunk of a burning car. The discovery was made in the area of Chapel Street, just south of I-96. Anyone with information is asked to call Detroit police. The search is on for a man wanted in connection with an attempted sexual assault at a public restroom in downtown Plymouth. According to police, the man seen here in surveillance footage went into the women's restroom and hid in a stall for about 20 minutes before attacking a woman as she was leaving. If you have any information, you're asked to call Plymouth Police. Detroit Mayor Mike Duggan has secured the win for his third term in office. He defeated former Deputy Mayor Anthony Adams by a landslide. Duggan winning 76% of the vote to just 24% of Adams' votes. Dearborn electing its first Arab American mayor, Abdullah Hamoud, with around 55% of the vote. Gary Warrencheck claiming about 45% of voters. You can find a complete list of the results on our website, WXYZ.com. A major announcement from Michigan Secretary of State. Driver's licenses and state ID cards will now have a non-binary option. People living in Michigan will be able to select the non-binary option marked with an X as their sex. This new option will be available November 10th. Anyone wishing to change their sex marker to X can do so at any Secretary of State office by scheduling an appointment.